Hello, everybody. Yes, we are about to begin the 15th annual California Free Thought Day is starting now. Yeah. Okay, I have lists of sponsors, so listen up. Thanks to the sponsors who are Applied Office On-Site Computer Training, Paul Story, The Original Motto Project, Reason Center, Humanist Association of the Greater Sacramento Area, No More in God We Trust, Freedom From Religion Foundation Greater Sacramento Chapter, Logic Hal, Amy Pfaff Insurance Services right here, <laughs> Central Valley Alliance of Atheists and Skeptics, Healthcare for All Sacramentans, Foundations, yay, they love themselves. Thank you, Sacramento. Foundation Beyond Belief, Center for Inquiry of Los Angeles, Black Humanists and Nonbelievers of Sacramento, and Sunday Assembly Sacramento, yeah. Thank you to all those groups and people, and then also to our many other donors, guests, speakers, entertainers, and volunteers, including these donors, Joseph Morrow, Angela Garvey, Ian Garvey, David Noel, Nancy Sneed, Fran Evanisco, Kenneth Nahigian, Ruth Rizos, Sarah Tigert, and Greg Martin. Thank you, everyone. We would also like to make, again, a great big thank you to the Reason Center for finding us today's venue and helping to keep us dry. Yeah! Be sure to check out their after party today at 6 o'clock. So if you've never been here for the Reason Center, this is a great time to find out where we're located and how to find us. And it's literally that way at the end of that next building. So a 6 o'clock party after partying here all day. What more could you ask for? All right. So now I am going to introduce the president of California Free Thought Day, David Diskin. How about for being indoors? <laughs> well, I'm so glad you guys are here and uh, that we were able to pull this together. Um, you know, it's, uh, I'm not a person of faith. I don't believe in luck. But man, uh, the weather being as it is, that we were able to find this place to move all of you people to and somehow notify all of you, you all got the message. A round of applause to yourselves for showing up because we're not thanking anyone else for that. Uh, today really is a special day. This is our 15th anniversary of doing this. This is, by the way, the first time that it's ever rained on Free Thought Day. Um, but uh, no, I really am glad that you're here. Again, thanks to the, to the Reason Center for helping make the arrangements for this. Uh, today, we celebrate Free Thought. We celebrate the First Amendment. We celebrate science. We celebrate the separation of church and state and secular rights. We do that hopefully all the time, and, and really, every year, that's what Free Thought Day is about. But today, our theme is secular pride. And for those of you who tweet or use Facebook, it's hashtag secular pride. In fact, I want you to get out your mobile devices right now, and I want you to say something to your social networks about hashtag secular pride. You're here at Free Thought Day, or you are celebrating science and the separation of church and state, whatever it is, grab your phone and say something about hashtag secular pride, and maybe even tag Free Thought Day while you're at it. Tag American Atheists, tag the Humanists, tag the Reason Center, tag any of these awesome people that are here, uh, and let's try and get that trending for the next couple of hours. As you're taking pictures, of our speakers as you're uh, going around and taking your selfies, hashtag secular pride. Because here's the deal. Here's why we chose this as our theme today. When you are out and about, when you're driving on the freeway, when you're hanging out with your friends and your coworkers or around the dinner table with your friends and family, let's be, fa let, let's be honest here. The, the chances that you talk about your secular nature, your, your non faith worldview uh, probably doesn't come up. It's probably a pretty slim chance that you're talking about this. But if we look at our, our religious counterparts, our friends on the other side of that spectrum, they are wearing a crucifix. They are proudly talking about their, their, their source of, of, of 
wisdom or guidance or whatever you want to call it, their Bible, their, their, their truth. Uh, they have emblems on their cars. We're not doing that. And I'd like to see us do more of that. And I'm not saying to go around and proselytize and start knocking on doors. But in the same vein that I want you to hashtag secular pride, I, I encourage you as we listen to the speakers today and as you go out for the next 365 days until Free Thought Day again, I want you to be a little bit more proud about being a person of a secular nature. And I'm not saying to, to eschew whatever labels you like or don't like. Be an atheist and be proud about it. Be a humanist and be proud. Be skeptical. Be an agnostic and be proud about that. I'm not here to argue the semantics or to put anyone down, but David will. <laughs> whatever label or labels or no label you choose, we're all secular. We all separate. We all encourage the separation of church and state. Am I right? We are all here to make sure that there are no religious exemptions for vaccinations. Am I right? Yeah. We want to make sure that the government stays out of marriage equality. Am I right? And that they encourage it. Right? And so that's what secular pride is about. And the more that we can spread that word, the more that we can get people to recognize that one-third of this state is secular in nation, in, 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 in secular in some way. Uh, granted, they, they may not identify as an atheist, I'm sorry, but they're still atheists. <laughs> they're still secular in some fashion. It's one-third, people, and when we're not in a room all gathered together like this, when you're at the water cooler, when you're at the dinner table, when you're just hanging out with friends and the topic doesn't come up, remember that one-third, the chances are pretty high that the people that you are with, that you talk to on the phone, that you go visit, that you bump into in the grocery store, they're probably one-third of them is secular as well. And I'm sure there's a whole lot more that just didn't answer that on the survey because they just don't like the stigma that comes with it. And that's why we're doing this as well. Not just for the elected officials here in, in, in Sacramento and in Washington, D.C., but for everyone else that's out there that's afraid to self-identify as being secular. So, one more time, what is it? Hashtag? That's fantastic. All right. I want to thanks, uh, give, again, give thanks again to all of the sponsors. And how about a round of applause for the 20 or 30 volunteers that were here at 8 in the morning to set this up? <laughs> and, of course, our wonderful, beautiful, talented MC, a round of applause for Marie Bain. Completely by coincidence, Marie has a Kickstarter program that ends tonight, and uh, there are cards around here somewhere. You can talk to her about it. She's a very talented musician, singer, and songwriter, and please support her uh, Kickstarter if you can. You've got something like 12 hours to go on that. She'll tell you about it during the breaks, and in between, she's got cards around here. Again, everyone, welcome to the 15th annual California Free Thought Day. Thank you for being here, and now back to Marie. All right, thank you, David. Don't forget to check out the author's table. We've got their books also. You can buy the book and have the author sign it. What more could you ask for? Personalized. And snacks and water are on sale throughout the day. I would also like to take a moment here to thank the Holiday Inn for last night's reception. So, on to our speakers.